Hey there, welcome back to East Texas Live. Do you have allergies? Is it something you're eating or is it something in the air? Well, Dr. Todd Funkhauser's here from Access Allergy and he has the answer to some of these questions. So first, tell us about Access Allergy and the, the experience your clinic has in treating people with allergies around here. Patients, asthma, immunological diseases, what all do you guys deal with? Yeah, so thank you for having me. The uh, access allergy, it starts with allergy in the uh, access and allergy in the name because we want to give East Texas and Texas in general access to the specialty of allergy and immunology. It's not an easy specialty to get access to. There are a lot of people that talk about treating allergies or helping you work with your allergies, but to actually be able to see a board certified specialist is not always that easy. And, uh, you know, Dallas-Fort Worth is one of the top 20 cities for uh, worst allergies in the nation. I think the report, a report came out last year that it was number two. Really? Only one worse. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where, uh, where it is. I, I, I can't remember for sure. We'll just assume Florida. But we'll assume Florida, exactly. Right. And uh, so, you know, there's a lot of allergy in East Texas. East Texas can even be worse. You know, the ragweed season uh, in East Texas uh, area can be three times longer than it is in a lot of other parts of the country. So that alone, you know, and we've got so many other tree, grass, weed pollens. We've got animals, horses, cattle, feathers, you name it. So the whole point of Axis Allergy is to give people access to the specialty, especially what the specialty can do for your immune system. It's the only board certified specialty that can help the immune system, strengthen the immune system, and make allergies permanently less of an issue or a non-issue. And that includes asthma, chronic cough, and a lot of other things. Well, I don't have chronic allergies, but I'm in the same boat as a lot of people where seasonally speaking, when the weather changes, like right now when it's going from hot to cold, my nose gets a little itchy for a few weeks out of the year, in the mm -hmm. fall, and in the spring. What, what's that about? What's with the seasonal people like m myself? Yeah, so the seasonal thing in the spring is going to be the trees. It's going to be mountain cedar, juniper, that sort of thing. Uh, uh, in the summer is going to be your grasses, uh, Timothy, Bermuda, Bahia, that sort of thing. In the fall, especially around here, is mostly going to be ragweed. There are other weeds, but you know that's what's going to give it to you in the fall. If you're a seasonal allergy sufferer, you know there's things you can do to control it over the counter. There's things that can be done with uh, allergy avoidance. There's nasal rinses and that sort of thing. But a lot of people have more chronic trouble than just seasonal allergy. They have chronic coughs that won't stop. They get sinus infections. They get bronchitis or asthma. Or you're just always sick. How many of, of, of your viewers are just dealing with a family member or themselves that just can never get well, just can never get well, and always going to the doctor? Do I need antibiotics? What do I need? You know, that sort of thing falls under allergy immunology, and we can do a lot to make that way better. You're describing some people I know. All right, so at Access Allergy, what do you guys do? Do y'all do anything different or what's your unique approach to battling allergies? Yeah, so the unique approach, uh, there is a very unique approach with um, allergies and asthma from a board certified specialist. What you're going to get potentially if you need it is a query of your immune system. What does your immune system, your immune system specifically respond to? What trees, grasses, weeds, dust, mold, uh, in your area, what is causing you to be sick all the time, what's causing you to have asthma exacerbations, headaches, sleep apnea, whatever it is, what's causing that, and then use desensitization or what's called immunotherapy, which the medical term. Sometimes a lay term gets called allergy shots, but lots of things get called allergy shots that aren't. Immunotherapy, the actual medical term, can actually fix all that so that eventually the immune system stops being allergic. Once it stops being allergic, you stop being sick. Once you stop being sick, you know, you may not need medicine or health care, you know, intervention at all, may not even need to see your doctor very often. All right, the guy watching has allergy issues. He likes what he hears. He wants to get help. How does he do it? 
So call, um, uh, you can Google us, accessallergy.com, Access Allergy of East Texas. Uh, give us a call. You can schedule appointments online, but appointments are available. Uh, another reason we say access is because usually within the same week we can get folks in. So definitely, you know, come any way you can. We'll get you in and we'll get you help. This is a good time of year to get that message out. Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Tog Funkhauser. For more uh, info on Access Allergy, it is accessallergy.com. And I asked my phone. My phone knows where you're at, too. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Siri or Alexa or whoever it is. Oh, you just triggered everyone's <laughs> devices. Thank you, Todd. <laughs>